Ladies and gentlemen, let's meet the reigning Miss Canada 1977, Miss Yvonne Foster. Everyone has a year that they remember for various reasons. My year to remember is 1977. My parents will probably remember this year as the one where they spent much time traveling down to Toronto and placing long distance phone calls to me. But I will remember this year as my first, the first time I took an overseas trip, as the time where I discovered more about myself and what I wanted out of life. But most of all, as for the first time in in the pageant history, a girl from Saskatchewan became Miss Canada. I'm very glad to have had the opportunity to represent Canada and Saskatchewan in this manner. My year has been a very interesting, educational and rewarding one, but it's not always been an easy one. Everyone has helped me a great deal in this past year, but there's one person in particular I want to thank, and that's my traveling manager, Sue Niblett. She has been more than just a manager. She has been a sister, a companion and a very dear friend. She's put up with an awful lot in the last year and she's been very understanding and patient. To the new girl, I wish her the very best of luck and I only hope that her year as Miss Canada will be just as memorable as mine has been. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Canada 1977, Yvonne Foster. I'm sure you'll agree with me that Yvonne makes a beautiful Miss Canada. Tomorrow, our new Miss Canada will begin a year full of travel and new experiences. She'll journey to all parts of our country and others, meeting and talking with people from all walks of life, sharing their interests, and learning more and more about their world and hers as the years go by. And now let's go back to Jim on stage for the final decision of our judges and the crowning of our new Miss Canada 1978. And ladies and gentlemen, the final decision has been reached. Our auditor has tabulated the votes, and now the moment everyone across Canada has been waiting for is here. May I have the envelope, please? I have the name of the new Miss Canada 1978 and the three runners-up. I will announce the winners, beginning with the third runner-up. The third runner-up for the Miss Canada crown is Shannon Tweed from the Ottawa Valley. The second runner-up, Leslie Wagner from Manitoba. The next name will be the first runner-up, the second most important award tonight. If for any reason Miss Canada cannot complete her reign, the first runner-up will assume the title. The first runner-up is Andrea Eng, Miss Canada from Toronto, Catherine Swing. The fairest girl in Canada The girl who reminds us all what girls should be Just look at her, she surely is Miss Canada And she's standing there for Canada and the world to see
Well, that's about it. Catherine's going to make a wonderful Miss Canada, and 1978 will be one of the most exciting years of her life. And for all the lovely girls of the pageant, the experience can make something they can always be proud of. We hope you've enjoyed being part of the excitement tonight, and we know you'll look forward to meeting...